Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new. Make sure that you subscribe, that way you'll never miss out on another pick a card reading. I do one on my channel every single Friday. Okay, so today we're gonna be getting into what are you manifesting right now? So this is exciting. I'm excited to get into your reading. What I'm gonna have you do is pick a pile number or a flower. So whatever you are drawn to, whichever one is calling out to you, we have pile number one or the jasmine flowers. Pile number two, the blue lotus. Pile number three, the red rose petals. And pile number four, the hibiscus. So which one is drawing you in? And let's get into your reading. Pile number one, or everybody that picked the jasmine flowers. Very interesting pick because jasmine flowers represent love and fertility and charm, seduction, mystery elegance beauty it's a very very beautiful flower that has so many energies attached to it so okay as soon as i started your reading i just got really really out of breath so what are you manifesting right now <laughs> first of all i could pick up on a lot of your energy where i feel like what you're manifesting is anxiety you're manifesting like you're just all over the place. You have too much on your plate, maybe. You're overwhelmed. And that is not good. That's why we have the jasmine flowers here. And you were so drawn to it because jasmine flowers help to slow us down. But it helps us to slow us down in a way where we are sensitive to ourself and our body and our mind, what we need, what we want, what we desire. We slow down to understand these things. We slow down to really have a conversation with ourselves about these things right so what you're manifesting right now i feel like there's okay let's start with these two cards right here there's so many messages here the hermit and the five of pentacles the hermit is somebody that follows their own light that maybe is isolating themselves a little bit too much somebody that wants to follow their own path maybe um for some of you, this also could mean that, you know, you are just keeping yourself alone a lot. You know, you are in solitude a lot. You you really just isolate yourself a lot. Um, and the card right next to this is the Five of Pentacles. And that tells me that, you know, there's this either the memory or a feeling of being rejected or neglected or abandoned or left out in the cold and a lot of you because of this whatever has happened to you you went into this hermit mode where you kind of just isolated and you hid yourself and I really understand why you pick jasmine flowers because jasmine flowers are something that is used in beauty spells and spells to attract and charm and manifest like a, uh, a person and I really feel like a lot of you the person that you are manifesting it um it's just this version of yourself that you really want to be and you want to become but you feel trapped somehow with this five of pentacles card but you guys know in my readings there's always results there's always a way out there's always a spell i can give you something where you can turn the energy into your favor but with you guys, what you're manifesting is already, there's, there's a shift, okay? Because a lot of you, yes, you are isolating yourselves. Yes, you are hiding yourself. Um, but you don't, your spirit doesn't want to do that. You're doing that out of fear and ego or whatever else the case may be. But if your spirit is not wanting that, your spirit will always get what it wants. So, you know, be prepared for some shifts happening that, you know, your spirit is really calling for. Um, we have this childlike devotion card. So you're a multi-talented, complex being uh, and embrace and love who you are. So a lot of you guys are manifesting. Uh, I feel like a lot of this pile is manifesting like mental health, mental clarity, a lot of things with your mind, uh, getting rid of like a foggy mind, clouded mind, organizing your head, a lot of things to do with your mind. Uh, you know, 
the biggest thing that I see that you are manifesting is a more playful energy. A lot of you have trapped yourself into your mind where you are very, very serious. And the jasmine flowers really help me understand you a little bit better. This is such a playful, lighthearted, fun, spontaneous energy in this flower. Um, and I'm very, very excited for you. So this card right here, distinctive potential. Rely on your faith and the knowledge that nothing is impossible. This is interesting that it came right next to the Hermit card because although you guys isolate yourself, you don't hurt yourself. You don't punish yourself. You don't, you really do find light in your own thoughts and in your own voice. It's just, you don't like sharing it with other people. You're very sensitive in sharing your own thoughts and your own voice, your own opinions, all of that stuff to other people. You really hide yourself. But I do want to tell you that what you're manifesting is some a completely different energy. Uh, and you need this energy because of because I really think that's what your spirit wants. You, your spirit does not want you to hide yourself and lock yourself up in a corner and not show who and what you really are. So it says, use your determination to hang in there until you realize a goal. This is what's happening. I feel like you are on the verge of, you know, there is a shift happening. So that means that a lot of your uh, goals are going to shift. You know, maybe you wanted a really big mansion. Um, but then as you evolve and grow, you realize maybe you just want a, a little cottage somewhere in the woods. Like there's... I feel like I want to tell you it's okay to change and it's okay that, you know, you were trying so hard to manifest something and then you evolved and you grew, you healed, and then you didn't want that anymore. And now you can start to manifest something else. And I feel like that's what's going to happen. You are on this journey of uh, changing your goals. You're changing your intentions. You are changing what you want and what you desire and that's okay i feel like uh i really want to tell you I, th I feel like somebody needs to tell you that it's okay to be like man i was trying to manifest that but i don't want it no more i want this now that's okay that's really really good because it shows that you are growing and you are evolving and you are coming out of this you know this unhealthy place and space where you are just hiding yourself look at these two cards right here release control and fellow travelers. So you have help around you. You have genuine people around you. You have manifested them, but it's just that you still hide yourself. You still, you know, don't trust and stuff like that. And jasmine flowers are a flower of loyalty. So I do feel like there's so many energies here. Like you are manifesting loyal people. You are manifesting great, great things. It's just that you hide yourself from them. Um, and you shouldn't. You should not. Like the jasmine flower, you should bloom. And the jasmine scent is so beautiful, so strong. I mean, it's used in perfumes, in tea, in room sprays, so many things. And it uplifts the environment that you use it in. So that tells me a lot about you. Like you can walk into a room and uplift people, but you hide that. And I feel like what you're manifesting is for your own spirit to show more, for your own self to show more. So you're manifesting, um, you know, your child, your inner child to pop out more. And I'm very, very excited for you. You have help and love around you. With these two peacocks right here, I see that there is romance here as well. Jasmine flowers also are uh, very, very, very good flowers to use in love spells, love rituals, stuff like that. Um, so I do see a, like a playful, spontaneous, very fun energy in your romantic life uh, that you are manifesting. Now, surrendering to the journey. So releasing control. A lot of you, you hide and, you know, you want to listen to your own voice. You want to follow your own path. But then, you know, you get, I feel like, um, like a chaotic mind, you know, I want this, but this, you know? And I feel like the uh, what you are manifesting, the path that you're going on, it's 
It's a path where you do follow your own voice, your own mind, your own thoughts. You are unraveling this lifestyle where you felt trapped or you may have trapped yourself into. That is coming undone. You are manifesting it. And also, you're manifesting new goals, new intentions, new things. And also just fun, fun energy right here. And you are manifesting releasing control. And that means you don't, you know, you can detach from your manifestations and your in intentions and your goals. And you can go and enjoy your life. I'm very excited for you. Now, I do want to head into this card right here, which is demonstrate love. Find out what's important to those around you that you love and act on it, right? So jasmine flowers are a huge symbol of love. And I feel like what you're manifesting is so much love right now. You are manifesting it whether you see it or not. Um, but I want you to be prepared that when you do manifest it, you have to demonstrate it back. Okay, there has to be even energy exchange in all relationships, romantic, you know, everything. Just so make sure that you find out what people around you love and try to give it back. Because I do feel like it will help you so much come out of this locked up place. Now, I do want to also talk about witch hazel and basil. Witch hazel is something that is used for sensitivity. For sensitive skin, it is really good. If you want to use it on your skin, uh, let me tell you a recipe really quickly. If you put some dried basil in some witch hazel and then you spray it on your face, you can keep it in your fridge for like about a week or two. Um, it's so, so good. I'm telling you guys. Um, and then if you don't want to do that, you could use witch hazel on your skin. You can make a... Um, you can get basil oil, basil essential oil, and you can put it in witch hazel and use it as a room spray. Um, basil is really good for reconciling. You know, if there's arguments in the home, if there's arguments in between relationships, if there is turmoil between your relationship with you and yourself even, you know, basil is really, really good. Basil tea, basil room spray, basil candles, basil the dried herb, plant it in your house. And these things will really help you. Actually, you know what I would do? If this was my reading, I would I would get witch hazel in a little spray bottle. Uh, I would put the witch hazel, I would put dried basil, and then I would put jasmine flowers in there. Actually, if I had basil oil, and I do have jasmine oil, so I probably would use jasmine essential oil, some basil, whether the oil or the herb, and some witch hazel. And I would spray that all over myself, my bed, I would spray it everywhere. Like, I feel like the energy would be very, very in tune with what you are manifesting. And that is some big changes, you know, romance, childlike fun, coming out of a place where you felt trapped and you're manifesting healthy relationships with yourself and other people and your job and your career, most of all with love, I see, with the jasmine flowers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye. Pile number two or everybody that picked a blue lotus. Interesting reading that we have here. Let's get into these two cards right here first. We're just going to dive right in. So what are you manifesting? I feel like a lot of you with this five of cups energy, it's if you can see let, let's break this card down, okay? So if you see these three cups in the forefront of the card, it's showing that they're empty and they have spilled all that's in it. And it's in the forefront of the card, so we are focusing on those three cups the most. But if you look to the back, there's two full cups here and they are overflowing with more than enough to fill up these cups or throw these away. You don't need them. Like, I feel like you're manifesting something where you're not focusing so hard on the spilt cups, the bad, you know, the empty, um, the gone, stuff like that. You are not going to be focusing, you are not going to be focusing on those things because of this energy that you are manifesting. Now, this Nine of Swords card is telling me that you guys are so guarded, okay? You guys are so heavily guarded. You have so many walls up. You, you know, it's not so easy for you guys to trust. And because of that, you know, 
if you, when you focus on, you know, what broke your trust, then you won't be able to see all the trust and the genuine people and the genuine energies that you have in your life, right? They're overflowing, but you are just focused on those people that broke your trust that, you know, all of those things, memories, traumas, um, whatever had happened. And because of that, you, you put those memories in the forefront of your mind and then you build a wall around it. So it's, it's just, it's not a good energy here. Um, if you guys hear the doorbell, I think that's the mailman. Um, we also, I want to talk about the nine of swords a little bit too. Like these fears are all up in your head. The nine of swords card is speaking about an energy where there's too many fears in your own mind. Now, when you are, listen, I don't want to say when you are manifesting because we are literally manifesting every second of every day, every single thought, every single emotion, every energy that we are vibrating in, every emotional state that we are in, it creates an energy and this energy is a magnet. So we will attract more of those things. Okay, so I do feel like a lot of you have been attracting... like despair and emptiness and the reason why is because that's what you focus on and I really understand why you guys picked the blue lotus this blue lotus flower is something that Egyptians use it's used as an uh, aphrodisiac it's used I actually give it as an offering to Shiva because it's one of his favorite flowers it's for meditation um, like if I drink blue lotus tea, I go into like, it's like a trance like state. It's so beautiful. So relaxing. Um, and it's also used to enhance your libido. It is used for relaxation. There's so many good properties of this and the energies that I'm picking up specifically for you is a lot of, um, listen, your mind has been playing tricks on you. Your mind has been playing games on you. And this blue lotus came to tell us that your mind is so much more powerful. You have so much more control over your mind that you, than you give yourself credit for. Okay, so we need to look at the underbelly of certain things, situations. And what you are manifesting is you get to see things clearer. You pick the blue lotus. So your mind is very, very strong. And that's what you're manifesting. Very, very strong mind. Very, very strong intuition. A mind that does not get triggered. A mind that doesn't have negativity at the forefront of itself all the time. You are manifesting that. So keep going. Look at this transformation card. You are transforming your brain. And I'm very, very excited for you because a lot of you, I feel like, the things that you were manifesting before came from a place of lack and defense, just your defense is up, right? But now you're learning something different. You are manifesting something different because you're tired. You are tired of always being guarded. You're tired of just always being suspicious. You're tired of always just doubting. You're tired of being in fear. Like these things take a toll on your body right? Like literally sometimes they can manifest as joint pain or muscle pain or headaches or like nausea. Um, so we have to be careful. And I really, really see that what you guys are manifesting is a healthier body, okay? And also just a mind that is very strong and a strong mind can manifest without any tools. I do want to let you guys know that. <laughs> but there is a fresh new way of living that you are stepping into and manifesting. And you're doing all of this with your mind. And that's that's why I see why you guys picked Blue Lotus. Blue Lotus is all about our mind, our brain, um, our third eye, our intuition, uh, our sexuality. So you guys are manifesting things that have to do with those areas of your life and 
I do also feel like um, I want to read these two cards for you guys right now. So looking at the underbelly, be sure that you're using your time in the best possible manner. Okay, what you're manifesting right now, I want you guys to look... Okay, I only want to say this because I want to give you guys an example. So I used to watch a lot of crime. Crime and horror horror and just negative you know it's so enticing it's so interesting it's so addicting to watch like those crime shows and all of those kinds of things like reality shows sometimes or um gossip channels <laughs> but i noticed and 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 a few channels that i were watching to were watching that few channels that i was watching that you know was not Basically, the people in these channels just were complaining a lot all the time. It was just not a positive place anymore for me to consume that content, but I kept watching it. But I noticed myself, my energy. Every After I would consume this content, even if it was like five minutes, I would get into this space and it would not be healthy. I wouldn't be able to either focus or I would get into a bad mood. And what you consume consumes you. So I want to say that like Blue Lotus is telling me that you guys may be feeding your mind something um, that you're manifesting that you don't want to manifest. So like I used to watch um, crime shows, right? So I noticed that I would just, you know, be around it a lot and <laughs> I didn't like that. So you have to really pay attention to what you consume and and then look look at your life and see, you know, are is that too much of a heavy energy in your life that you are consuming and it's actually manifesting. So I feel like a lot of you are are transforming the way that you think. You're manifesting new ways of thinking, new ways of uh new lifestyles, just a lot of new images in your head too, uh where it's where you know what you're manifesting when you're thinking and it's very powerful and i'm very very glad that you pile number two can be able to do this because you guys are uh, powerful thinkers you guys are innovative you guys have a strong mind you guys have lots of ideas but you know the wrong things come into the forefront of your imagination and then you put your defenses up and then you forget about your own ideas. And these ideas can bless you, they can give you wealth, they can give you happiness, they can give you insight and clarity and so many things, but you're just so heavily focused on something else. And what you're manifesting though is a, a turnaround, a switch, a different way, um, which you really, really need and you've really been wanting. So miracles and blessings, everything has its gift. I feel like a lot of you, the transformation that you are going through and the way that your mind is going to shift and teach you is that whatever you went through, you're going to just see it as a blessing. I learned this from this. I became stronger from this. I learned whatever or, you know, I healed myself from this or you know, I, I was in the darkest pit of my life and I was able to climb out. Whatever it is, you get to see your strengths and then you get to see that all of these lessons had its gift. And that's where your power is coming from. You're starting to see things differently and, and therefore you're going to start manifesting things a lot differently. Let me tell you, we have this gift of neutrality. So balance is at work in your life. Yin and yang are opposites in energy, but reside side by side to create gift of neutrality. So you are learning to merge the darkness with the light. You no longer want to just stay in the darkness. You want some of that light and that's what you're manifesting. Your mind is literally manifesting that for you. Like I can see it and feel it with this blue lotus that you picked. Um, these two cards right here eucalyptus and black pepper so eucalyptus is something that we use for coughing for asthma for flu cold for breathing for relaxation uh, relaxing the muscles and joints joint pain cramps all of this stuff it's so good for breathing especially for people with asthma and stuff like that eucalyptus is amazing so for a lot of you i feel like the shift that 
is happening. What you're manifesting is going to allow you to breathe. And I'm going to say that again because I feel like you really need to hear it. What you're manifesting is going to allow you to breathe. Now we have black pepper here. Black pepper gets rid of. It helps to banish and to throw away, to get rid of. So like if you have an annoying neighbor, if you just kind of uh, take some black pepper in your left hand and then you blow on it a little bit and then you just tell them, get out. And you just go sprinkle it in their yard. <laughs> I remember talking about this on Patreon. That's why. I, uh, that's why. I <laughs> if you're on Patreon, then you know. But black pepper helps you banish. So if you have a bad habit, if you have a you know trying to get rid of an addiction, you want to get rid of a bad something in your life, you know, a bad neighbor, bad whatever, you use a uh, black pepper. And there's several different spells that you could do, but black pepper is something that you would use. So you could, so black pepper is also something that you can use to, yeah, get rid of bad habits. Like, that's the only thing that I can think of. Like, that's the first thing that pops up into my head when I'm looking at this card right now is, there is a bad habit here that you guys are manifesting to get rid of and it it's working it you're doing good i'm really really proud of you so a spell that you guys could do because i do want to give a spell with these herb cards and the flower that you picked so black pepper eucalyptus and blue lotus if you make a tea you can make tea with eucalyptus uh blue lotus and black pepper it would be really, really good for breathing and also really, really good for just like uh, clarity of the mind. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye. Pile number three for everybody that picked the rose petals. Okay, so this reading has a lot to do with love. You're manifesting a lot of things that have to do with love. Let's get into these two cards right here. The King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles together. So King of Pentacles is talking about a lot of earthly achievements. Okay, high status, a lot of um, intelligence when it comes to business and finances. The king of pentacles is a person who is a very hard, patient worker, not somebody that is corrupt or dishonest. This is somebody that owns their own business. This is somebody that is reliable, somebody that is very clever, uh, very smart, uh, and they know about finances and money and stuff like that. Now, right next to that, we have the queen of pentacles, and this is an energy of a person who's very comfortable, very content. Uh, they love the materialistic aspects of their life. So, you know, everything you can see, touch, taste, smell, and feel, uh, you love. <laughs> and I feel like for a lot of you, you are manifesting this. I feel like this is my favorite pile. You are manifesting this romance, this love, this relationship, connection, this union, uh, this partnership that it's going to work so well together, that's going to balance so well together, there's going to be yin and yang, perfect harmony balance going on here. Um, I do feel like they're, you're manif for a lot of you, you're manifesting a baby or uh, if you're planning to adopt or there's a new life that you're trying to manifest, whether that even be like you're trying to get a new kitten or like a specific breed of a dog or something. You are manifesting a new life. Oh, and that could even mean um, a new business. It might be a joint business between you and your partner. For a lot of you, I see that. And I see that it will thrive. I see that you guys will learn so much. You guys will um, be very, very successful. And this will teach you so much, but it will also grow your relationship. Your relationship will evolve on so many levels. This is really good. And that's for some of you. Um, I also see that the Queen of Pentacles is an energy that accepts the responsibilities. So with more money, with more love, with more romance comes more responsibility. So you kind of have to, you know, like the first thing that popped in 
in my head is when you get into a new relationship, you that new relationship kind of consumes all your energy, all your time, all your thoughts. Now, if you had a business you're running or like you had close friends or like, you know, your family members that you used to always hang out with and then you get into this new relationship and it consumes all your time, all your thoughts, all your conversation. So then, you know, the other things in your life kind of get a little bit neglected. So that's where the Queen of Pentacles comes to tell you that, listen, you're manifesting something and you're going to get it and you already see yourself getting it, but don't neglect everything else because you are manifesting this. You see it, you know it. You feel it, but don't neglect the other responsibilities in your life. Um, this Queen of Pentacles energy is also somebody that's very, very wise and smart in business. And it's somebody that has money or comes from money or will come across money. Uh, and they worked hard for it. It's not like something, you know, it, they worked hard for it. Okay. And this Queen of Pentacles is also very resourceful and they are very versatile. So they're open-minded um, and they are willing to hear out ideas. But it just seems like the masculine here is very strict, you know? Uh, but you, what you're manifesting is that these two energies work together to create something big. Um, we have the Rejuvenating Rain card. So clearing the past. Um, now, this card is telling me that what you're manifesting is a lot of just healing, processing your past and just, you know, uh, moving forward from it. Uh, and I think this has a lot to do with relationships, romance and love. And the card right next to it is forgiveness. So nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. And I feel like a lot of you guys have been working on this. And this is what you're manifesting is healing from the past so that you can enjoy your relationships. You can enjoy your romance and all of that stuff. So you are on the right path. Look at this card right here, convey your meaning. So reflect on the way that you communicate with others and even with yourself. Be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart and with respect and sincerity. So you don't have to be aggressive. You don't have to fight. You don't have to go into defense mode. Um, I feel like these two cards right here with this right under it is telling me that what you're manifesting is this very, very beautiful harmony and balance in a relationship. Okay, whether you're in a relationship or you are attracting a relationship, I don't know. But I can see that what you're attracting to yourself is this very, very, very beautiful relationship. Do not let this relationship go. Make sure that you forgive the stupid things and like, you know, don't hold on to grudges and stuff. If you, this is a very, very harmonious relationship. If worked on properly okay look at this card right here far away places get ready for new horizons there's more to experience in this relationship and that's what you're manifesting and you know it and your spirit knows it and that's why you're i feel like you're guided more towards it um there's more to experience in this relationship there's more to gain there's more to learn there's more to forgive there's more to um communicate it's this it's not over uh whether this be a relationship with yourself or a romantic one it's not over there's so much more to um convey and experience and learn and grow and evolve and taste and smell and hear and feel all of those things push to surface so you may have become complacent you might be stalling or in need of a surge of energy. Become aware of the dynamics of your life. So this is right underneath the forgiveness card. So grudges paralyze you. They keep you stagnant. They keep you, they make your body tense. They make your mood bad. Grudges take you back to a moment that you didn't like. Grudges, um, it's like, I don't know who said it, but it's like holding the point or holding the fire in your hand to throw at your enemy, but you're just burning yourself or something like that. Um, and that's kind of what the first thing that popped in my head with these two cards together, 
is a lot of you are just kind of holding on to something that is just only hurting you. It's only making you mad. It's only making you frustrated. It only makes you anxious. So why are you holding on to it? Let it go. Do a cord cutting, um, burn it on a bay leaf that you're letting it go. Give it to your uh, deities, what you, who you work with. Uh, find a way to let it go because it's not serving you at all. It's not helping you. And what you're manifesting is a cleansing of all of these things, you guys. I mean, you're manifesting it. So I'm not even going to say like, you need to do this, you need to do that because you are manifesting it. Your own spirit is manifesting these things. So you will be forgiving. You will be um, coming out of comfort zones. You will be you know, going into new horizons in your romance and your love life, you will be coming across a lot of money. So you're going to know, you're going to want to know how to budget, what to save, what not to save, where to invest, um, you know, what bank you want to keep. Like you need to know because you will be coming across money, but it is in some kind of partnership. So the roses right here, rose petals. Rose petals are, very, red rose petals are very, very beautiful because they raise the frequency. If you look on the frequency, the vibration chart, uh, you get to see rose petals have like one of the highest frequencies. Uh, I think it's even more than humans. So red rose petals really raise the frequency and the vibration of an environment. If you use it as a beauty product on yourself, you keep it around you or however you use it, it really it raises the vibration. So I really feel like what you guys are manifesting is a huge, huge, huge raise in your vibration. For specifically, it's in your love life. Um, these two cards right here, we have cloves and then we have milk thistle. So cloves. I have this spell on my channel that I did. It's with the red candle and four cloves. And it just, it's really good for sending negative energy and gossip and stuff like that back to the sender. So I would, what I would say is, you know, I was going to say, I want you guys to go ahead and do that spell. If you feel like you want to do it just to get rid of negative energy, because you are manifesting and you're manifesting some big, big things. So if you want, like, you know, when you manifest big, big things, people see your energy change, you know, uh, you might, your face might be glowing a little bit more. Your mood is changing. You thriving. You're a little bit more happier. People can put evil eye. So if you do want to do that spell, that's where I would recommend, like, as you evolve and change and grow and thrive, people may have evil eyes. So you just do want to do something to protect yourself. So cloves is a great way to do that. And also milk thistle. I have, so this card is giving me a specific message. I want you guys to know that don't let other people intrude into your romance, into your love life. Usually I would be like, you know, use milk thistle for something. You can also use milk thistle for protection around your home. You could use dry milk thistle um, in candles for protection. You could actually throw it with cloves. Oh my God, amazing protection. Cloves and milk thistle in a candle. Really, really good protection energy. Now, but that's not really the uh, message that I'm getting with this card today. Today, I'm really getting this message like you guys need to stop letting intrusive thoughts come into your space of romance. Um, and actually, that's what you're manifesting. You're manifesting this beautiful new romance where you don't allow negative things, intrusive thoughts, you know, stuff like that, or low vibrations or gossip into your space of romance and love. I also want to recommend to you guys, as you guys are manifesting this beautiful love life, I want you guys to use roses and rose petals a lot more and cloves and milk thistle to protect that love energy. You could use them in candles, you can make sprays, you can boil them um, and then like use them as a spray. There's a lot of ways you could use them. Potpourri, you could you know keep it all together, all the dried ones in a little bowl in front of your door or something or in your bedroom. Yes. Um, so yes, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye. Pile number four or everybody that picked the hibiscus flowers. 
I love this reading for you guys because I feel like a lot of you are letting go of a lot of heavy emotions, heaviness, heavy tensions, heaviness of the past, just letting go of heaviness. And yeah. what tells me that, if you guys hear that, that's Klaus, my dog. He's riled up because all the other dogs in the neighborhood are riled up right now. <laughs> um, this, ten of one, this Ten of Wands card, which tells me that you guys are really releasing some very, very heavy burden. And that's what you are manifesting. The release of something big that's just burdening you. That is just on your chest. It's heavy on your mind. Now, there's so many messages that are coming through here. So this St. John's Ward card, despirited. Whatever this heavy load is on your shoulders, on your chest, okay, on your body, I just feel like on your mind, wherever it is, it could be like a physical pain. It could be like uh, maybe you had this huge bit, like debt or bill. I don't know what it is. It's a collective reading, but something big that you are really letting go of and you are manifesting it big time. St. John's Wort is something that you use for depression. Um, you know, it helps to lift up the despirited. So you can use the herb, tinctures, oils, the, the, you know, so many ways to use it. But it does come up in your reading. I don't know if you're familiar with it, if you've ever taken it, or maybe you should use it spiritually to lighten up your load as you are manifesting, lightening up your load. You can help this uh, whole journey go faster. Now, Page of Swords with Knight of Swords. This is interesting energy because Page of Swords is something that is coming very... It's something that you're going to have to nurture. Something is coming to you that you are going to have to nurture and grow and take care of. Okay, but the Knight of Swords card right next to it is telling me that this is coming in very, very quickly. Very, very fast. Okay, this is going to come very fast. Like what you're manifesting is about to just head in to your life like a meteor <laughs> and like things are going to change. And this page of swords is telling me that you're going to uh, learn to adapt to this new change. Like for example, say you manifest a baby, uh, then your life will change, right? It's going to revolve you taking care of it, nurturing it and all of that stuff. Or it could be a new business or this could be uh, you come across money. You know, you come across money where your lifestyle changes, you know, you, your risks and investments and savings and budget, all of that will change lifestyle, everything. So with any, with big things in life come lifestyle changes, you know? So I do feel like something is coming in very, very quickly, uh, but you will be nurturing it and growing it. And it is a release of something. Like you, with this something new coming in so quickly, your mind is going to be so preoccupied with it that like you're, <laughs> you're releasing the burdens that you had will be no problem. So I'm very happy for that. Okay. Look at these two cards right here. Trust that there's a divine plan and love flows through you and to you. So I feel like you guys are coming out of a, a dark space. Okay. So a lot of this is because you manifested it. So, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Are you lighting your candles? Are you uh, taking care of yourself? Are you having good thoughts? Are you making sure that you consume good things, good material, good videos, good content, um, movies? Like, what are you watching? What are you feeding your brain? I feel like a lot of you guys have been really paying attention also to what kind of conversations you're having, you know, all that stuff. And it's working and keep doing it. And, you know, whatever else you are doing, because everybody's different and everybody is following their own path. But whatever it is that you're doing, keep doing it. Because it was a divine plan for you to keep doing those things, even though maybe sometimes you thought that you were failing or falling. It, it was all part of something. And this was a journey of your heart, the voyage of your heart. So it was to teach you love. 
and what you're manifesting. I want you guys to watch the pile with the roses because I feel like it has so much to do with your reading. I feel like it's a counterpart. It's an addition. It, it, it's, um, you gotta go watch pile number four. I mean, pile number three, the roses. So look at this card right here, these two, where you need to be in persistent drive. So acknowledge how you're feeling. I feel like a lot of you, uh, you didn't do that and that's where the heaviness was coming. That's where you were dispirited. That's where you were blocked and stagnant. But what you're manifesting uh, with this hibiscus too, if you see the way the hibiscus blooms, it fully just opens. All the petals are open. It also represents, you know, the vagina. And so I see a lot of power in that. And so a lot of you just acknowledge where you are, in, you know, how you're feeling persistent drive keep going like i said keep going okay see what you desire and move towards that goal and you are manifesting that so keep going the heart of the matter you guys are really looking underneath everything and uh, sometimes it's hard but you are manifesting very very good things from it there's more going on than meets the eye and you are diving into those things and because of it, you're releasing so much and you're headed towards something very, very beautiful. Turmeric, you can use for diversity. You can use uh, to spice things up. So if you use St. John's Ward, turmeric, and hibiscus in a white candle, this will help uh, a lot of the energies that you are currently going through. And what I want you guys to know is you're manifesting something very, very big that where your lifestyle will change, but it's something you want. It's something you wanted. Uh, and it's because of all the work that you're putting in and everything you're doing. So good job. And I want you guys to keep going. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon.